it's Jo Simmons here. I'm so sorry I couldn't come up to Shrewsbury. No one's going anywhere, are they, at the moment, with the lockdown? So instead, I've made this little tiny film for you. And thank you so much if you voted for My Parents Cancelled My Birthday in the Shrewsbury Best Book Awards. Um, it's about a boy called Tom whose parents cancel his birthday after a series of disasters at home involving a pig. I'm going to read you a tiny bit just to get you in the picture from chapter one. Chapter one, the fall. It all started when a pig fell off the roof. It wasn't just any old pig. It was our pig, Tiny. Tiny was my sister Meg's pet pig. Tiny was a pygmy pig, which is a special kind of cute small pig, at least... That's what the man we bought her from said. Oh, yeah, yeah, she won't grow bigger than a pug, he said. Only Tiny kept on growing. Bigger than a pug, bigger than a spaniel, bigger than a Labrador, bigger and bigger and bigger, until she ended up regular pig size, and regular pigs are surprisingly big. They weigh a lot, too. The hugeness of Tiny meant she couldn't live in our house, as Meg had planned, and the garden was too small. In the end, Dad decided to make a home for her on the garage roof. He built a fence around it and put a little pig house up there. And once a week, he'd climb through the bathroom window onto the roof and muck it off, which meant shoveling all the pig mess and old straw over the side. This was Dad's least favourite job to do. He always swore while he was doing it, but using made-up swear words. This is something he does. He thinks not using real swear words makes him a good dad. If you were standing in the garden, you'd hear him shouting Brannock and Zerk and other weird words. Only thinking about it, you really wouldn't want to be standing in the garden as he shoveled the mess over the side. Too risky. So I really loved writing this book. And unlike other books I've done, this one just poured out of me. And I think I wrote it in about two weeks flat, like it needed loads of editing. But I got it down really quickly. I don't even remember coming up with the idea... Um, I know I wanted to write about a disappointing birthday, mainly because my own birthdays when I was little were often a bit uh, not so good, because largely because my birthday's on January 3rd, which is a funny time of year and everyone's done Christmas and New Year, and they're not really so interested in having another celebration. Um, it's not based on anything real, like the characters are not based on people I know, but they're kind of based on... Families maybe that uh, are quite typical where the mum and dad are very busy and are maybe a bit preoccupied and the children get a little bit overlooked. That was kind of the thinking for it, really. And um, when it comes to really good birthdays, probably my best birthday ever was the one I just had this January, so a couple of months ago. Finally, after all these years, I thought, I'm going to have a party. And I invited all my friends around and they all came and we danced and played music and it was brilliant. So there you go. Thank you so much for taking part in this festival. It's an amazing thing to be reading and voting on books that you love. Um, and I hope to come and see you someday soon when all this craziness is over. But until then, take care and see you soon. Bye.